Are we in there? Hey, we're live. We are out here in the middle of nowhere, Nevada. And let me see if I can uh, flip the camera around here. Hey guys, pop in. So we are out here uh, in the middle, in the middle of nowhere. And I kid you not, last night the trailer broke off. It fell off my truck. Okay, so we're heading down to the march on Nevada Southern. Things are going good down there. We were going to get in late last night. And Kelly Stewart, we're traveling with her family too. So she's got her the trailer on her rig. And we're heading down. We're driving, right? We stop for dinner. And her transmission starts acting up. And I'm so I'm messing around, tinkering with it, seeing if we can get going. It's a, it's a GMC Yukon. And that transmission apparently is not the greatest. And, and so it starts slipping and won't shift into fourth and fifth. And it's like, it's wigging out. We're like, whoa. So we're like, okay, we're going to have to stop. We're gonna have to stop for the night. And we'll just figure this out tomorrow, right? So we, we get to a place where we can pull off out here in the desert and we stop, try and get out of the wind here. We stop and I pull in, we're like, I pull in down here and I literally pull in and I'm kind of backing around, jockeying around the trailer and I kind of back it up and I jackknife it a little bit and all of a sudden I hear this snap. And it's not like anything happened hard. I mean, I've jackknifed trailers lots of times. so. All of a sudden, there's this snap, and I'm like, "Oh, I must have jackknifed it too hard," and I uh, and I and I I just kind of bashed into the frame or something. I get out, and that's not what happened. I'm I'm down here backing up. I literally just pulled in. It's a good thing I wasn't going down the interstate. I pulled in, and the trailer had fallen off the truck. This is a 2001 GMC Sierra. All right. I've never seen anything like this. It, now, it was I, I lifted it up so we could sleep in it. Took some wrangling, getting everything unhooked because all the chains were bound up. This thing, I come back and the trailer is literally sitting on the ground on this ball. You can see the gouges here. All right. The hitch, the adjustable hitch is not what broke. The actual metal receiver that came stock on the GMC straight ripped off. Okay, because remember, this was all back up here. The welds are just flat broken and that's not much for welds either i'm like that was all that was holding me together all the all these years okay now here's the thing and so i'm looking at this and i'm right about the weight of of this hitch right and it says like 7500 on here but here's the weird thing don't just trust what these manufacturers are telling you for weight ratings because this truck is weighted for towing like if you look up this year truck it's rated for towing like 15,000 pounds or 12,000 pounds or something like that right and so I have this trailer that the dry weight is is in the seven probably somewhere right around there so I'm probably around around right right around what the actual weight this hitch is rated for because even though they rate the truck they're selling a truck and saying oh the tow capacity is like 12,000 and it looks like this is a class three hitch that's rated for about 7,500. But even at that, even at that, right? I check my equipment all the time to make sure things aren't looking broken, make sure the hitch isn't breaking off. Um, and I, I couldn't have expected this one, right? I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't look at the hitch like expecting that the actual receiver of the truck would shear off and fall off. So it's a good thing it didn't do this going down the road at 70 miles an hour. And Wow, I mean, I don't think, I don't think, yeah, right, right, guys. I don't think Gorilla Tape though will fix this one. I don't think Gorilla Tape's gonna fix this one. So, look, I'm probably gonna have to head down to Vegas. We're trying to get everything sorted here because I we want to get down there to the march. Hope to see you guys down there in Pahrump for the march on Nevada Southern Prison. It's still ongoing and probably will be for some weeks to come. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that it, that it did it when we stopped. I'm like, Hey God, thanks for having that break right as I pull into the parking lot. Good timing on that. Um, but still it was like one of those nights, right? Transmissions failing over here. I pull in, I'm like, Oh, the trailer just fell off the truck. So basically people are like, I, I try, I road trip a lot. Right. And people are like, people are like, Gavin, Gavin, how do you decide where to camp? And I'm like, well, son. I pretty much just roll in and when the trailer falls off my truck, I'm like, we're there, kids. <laughs> so, interesting night. Uh, it, guys, stay tuned to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash callmegav. And, uh, of course, if you want to help us with trip expenses or anything like that for uh, traveling down there, help our team get down to Nevada, you can, uh, you can always uh, buy us a cup of coffee over at callmegav.com or just use... Uh, 
the super chat here. But anyways, uh, just just shouting out a few things for those of you that want to find them. Facebook.com slash callmegav is where you'll see my ongoing updates on the prison march, and I'll probably be streaming here as well. But you may want to stay tuned to both of those because sometimes I stream on Facebook. Sometimes I stream on here, depending on what our topic is. And uh, just, uh, just a reminder to not assume... To not assume that the rated capacities of your truck are going to, 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 to work because, I mean, how soon would this have broken if I had actually put the weight rating on it, right? If I had put the, the 12, 15,000 pounds they rated this truck for on this hitch, it might have just broken off outright. And uh, so they honestly, I mean, companies should not be selling a truck, rating it for XYZ weight rating and then putting a hitch that's not rated for it. But I want to be clear, I wasn't hauling 15,000 pounds. My trailer doesn't weigh near that much. I was, I was around the capacity of this hitch, and now I'm going to go overboard. I'm going to put like a class four on here because I'd much rather be overkill than underkill. And uh, it's, but, but that's not why this broke. Something severe failed. And so next time you hook up your trailer, seriously, guys, take a look at it. Make sure everything looks okay. Check your hitch because you don't, you don't want to be going down the road and have this happen. So we're going to get down there. We're going to call out some corrupt officials, guys, down at Nevada Southern. I'm going to go. I'm going to get to work, try and figure this out, and get a new hitch bolted on this thing because I can't get this trailer down the road until we get some things revol resolved, and we're working on helping get uh, Kelly's, Kelly's rig resolved as well. And no near as I can tell, nothing else broke. Nothing else was damaged. It just flat fell off. Now, had I been going down the highway and it broke like this, I'm sure many things would have been damaged. But uh, at the moment, it's... Uh, just my schedule and um, my pride a little bit and my trailer hitch that's damaged. So you guys have a good day. Check your hitches. Make sure they're not going to work. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's GM, <laughs> but I don't think so. <laughs> um, make sure they're not overrating your rig for its hitch and just make sure it's not going to fall off. Or if it does fall off, do it while you're parked and just be like, set up camp, guys. So, yeah, did someone mess with it? A couple people have said, like, somebody sabotaged it. I don't know. It looks to me like it's just poorly designed and was not welded on there very good. But uh, pretty weird stuff. Pretty weird stuff. But I've got some security with me. So <laughs> God takes care of us. All right, you guys. Have a good day. We'll talk soon.